Keith Hasapardi returns to the GST with proven experience and an endorsement from former leader Sir Peter Caruana. Working against him is the fact that he left the party of the merger with the Labour Group and led the PDP to stand against it. But he highlights he never stopped being an ideological social democrat, saying his return was on the cards, only accelerated by Daniel Freedom's departure as leader. The choice now, he says, is crucial, with the GST at a crossroads. It's about members choosing someone to go into the next election to debate with Fabian Picardo, negotiate with Britain and stand up to Spain. Well, I'm hoping to bring my experience, my vision for the future. I've set out a clear agenda of, of how I see it. I hope to persuade people uh, to support me on the 30th of November. And if the members do it, I will relish the prospect of leading this party forward and delivering on the strategy that I set out today. What happens if you'd lose? Uh, would you carry on with the party? I've said clearly that I'm committed to this party. Uh, there were no preconditions to my return. Uh, this is not about leadership or nothing. I ha have said that I will, I will stay and I will help build the party. But I don't want to focus uh, the issue on the negative question of what I will do if I lose. I want to focus this on the positive question of what I will do if I win. And what I will do if I win is to try to deliver, to uh, give all my enthusiasm and, and energy in rebuilding and renewing this party to make it once again the strong alternative for government. Would you put your name forward as a candidate for the next election? That is a matter for the executive. Um, uh, clearly, if I win, I will be a candidate. I will be the leader. If I do not, um, I, that is a matter for the executive. But once again, I don't want to focus on what happens if I lose. I'm trying to persuade people from now till the 30th of November that mine is the more proactive, progressive agenda to take the party forward. And that is what I'm going to concentrate on over the next two weeks. The other issue is, of course, the fact that you would be outside Parliament. How would you think that this would work? It will work because a lot of the work that happens in politics happens outside Parliament, meeting people, um, uh, understanding their concerns, addressing their concerns, meeting associations, reforming uh, policy. All of that happens outside Parliament. Now, of course, I accept immediately it's not ideal, but it's not unprecedented or unique. In Scotland, Nicola Sturgeon, who is the leader of the Scottish National Party, has to appoint, is not a member of the House of Commons, and has to appoint someone to lead the SNP in the House of Commons. In Spain, Pedro Sánchez is not even a member of the Spanish Parliament and yet is the effective leader of the opposition in Spain. How do you feel the election's going? Do you feel the popular support is leaning towards Mr Clinton? I make no predictions whatsoever. I, I don't know why you would make that assessment. The, uh, the feeling I'm getting from members is very positive. The feedback I get directly and indirectly from members is very good. I'm putting my case out there. I'm running my campaign and I hope to persuade as many members as possible to back me on the 30th of November. My core message though is don't be complacent and don't stay at home. It's no good uh, waking up on the, on the Friday and saying that's not the result I wanted. If you want a particular outcome because we are at such an important crossroads in the party's history, then you've got to get out and vote. I want to talk about a crossroads in the party's history because a return to the party, but not just a return to the party, it's a crossroads for yourself as well, a return to politics. Well, look, I, it's true that I've been in frontline politics for a long time. So, um, yes, I mean, in some ways it is a personal crossroads in the sense that there's only so many times that you are going to offer yourself to the electorate. I hope that there is space for me in Gibraltar politics. And I, the feedback I'm getting so far has been very positive in the street. So I hope that, that people will uh, wish uh, me to come back to politics in a much more active way and in the way that, I, that uh, is being proposed, which is to deliver and drive the strategy to rebuild the party. Keith Hasapari believes it's normal for parties to go into transition after a long stint in government and is confident that GST uh, well, can return to being a strong alternative to government and, with hard work, the government itself. He sets out a positive vision for the future and promises to bring others to the party with him.